I started taking this out stock and hitting a couple things with a, a friend of mine. Got the BFGs and like it was doing all this stuff. And I was like, I don't like the bumpers. I don't like the steps. All that stuff's killing ground clearance. And so it just kind of started going one thing to another. And I had this kind of long-term plan. I was like, I know what I want to do with it. And now I'm basically <laughs> here where I'm at. So like, I don't know if we can get rid of this at this point because it's like a family, <laughs> family vehicle. So I started off with, of course, the tires. I'd already hit a couple trails and started ripping off the steps off the side. So those had to come off. I ended up getting an addicted off-road bumper. I'd also started looking at a winch because I knew if I get stuck by myself, I can get that. But then I got the Gobi roof rack. Being in DC, like I can't go with a giant roof rack. I mean, I already have problems fitting into like a lot of the garages. I got the four by innovation swing out with the tire mount. Um, I always felt like having to tire underneath the car is a bad spot if you're off road. And then um, I got the four by innovations rock sliders. You know, I added some little lights here and there, the high lift mount, stuff like that. I decided I've been doing too many water crossings and having already like hydro locked an engine in the past. <laughs> so I added a snorkel, you know, CB antenna started kind of popping in. I kept searching for how to attach the CB antenna and tons of research later I found out Rego Fabrication makes a nice little like adapter for it that clips on. I ended up getting their mole panels in the back. In order for me to do it right, I basically need to go ahead and do the Tundra brake upgrade, which I needed because like with the added weight, like those regular discs were not going to hold it. So I got the brake upgrade, but then I was like, well, I got to also have bigger wheels because they come stock with 16s. So I had to go to the 17s. And at that point, I'm like, I'm going TRD. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to get a lift, new springs. I've done a ton of research and I went with the Sonoran Steel kit and it basically has a diff drop and all that stuff kind of in it you could pick the springs so i did the rad flow front springs i got the jba uh, upper control arms the rear springs are land cruiser 80 wraps i didn't want to go rooftop tent because to me that's extra storage i have a tent for every occasion but if i really need to like my tent's this big and then we have like the family tent which is now like a gazelle t8 it's heavy <laughs> it's big but it's two rooms we can stand in it. Front runner, I have some of their wolf boxes and stuff. I just so happened to stumble upon their just normal mid-size drawer system. It uses the stock tie downs that the Forerunner has. It fits in there nicely. Before I did all that, took the roof down, took up all the carpet and everything, and I did the kill mat sound insulation. I think it's killed a lot of road noise. That's one of my upcoming projects is finishing, figuring out all the details on how I want to organize everything. Cause like, I got the mole panels. I've got like recovery gear, first aid stuff on one side. On the other side, it's more of your cooking stuff. And then the drawers kind of correspond with that too. So I have like a two burner Eureka stove and you know, all the seasonings and all that other stuff is in one drawer. And then the other drawer is um, tools and lights and all that other stuff. And then I use the front runner wolf boxes to be able to like, okay, I got a whole box full of snacks, right? Cause when you got kids, you gotta have snacks. I can secure my cooler, you know, so like if I'm going off road, I'm not having stuff flying through the air. Last year we went to like Watkins Glen State Park, stayed there for a week, unloaded, went and drove around, was able to do whatever we want to and go hiking. The third gen 4Runner always has a notorious frame situation. That's actually one of my future plans is to go ahead and line the, the frame underneath. There's really not too many other things. Lower control arms I wanna change out because the ball joints are known to just go and it's like, I, I don't know, it's one of those things that I just, I dread. I'm just like, when is it going to happen? I like manuals, but a manual um, with the e-locker in the back is probably like the unicorn. I've gotten through a lot of stuff. I think the only time I've ever even used a winch at this point, um, other than like pulling trees, you know, down or whatever, was at Roush Creek, but it was like 12 plus inches of snow and we're trying to go up a hill. I haven't really had a moment where I'm like, I'm stuck. It's meant to be used and go have fun. We take it to the beach a lot and go camping on the beach. The older I get, I start to realize that I, you know, my whole childhood was spent out in the woods. I need to go back there. To me, you know, nature is where we're supposed to be. Um, that's what we're in touch with. It helps balance me. It takes away a lot of the, the stress and everything that I feel at work and, and whatever. For me to get out and go and do things with my family and go places, you know, my wife often jokes, like, 
we go out, she can tell my mood just get better and better the, the closer we get to our destination. You know, so it's a way for me to kind of get rebalanced and just, you know, get centered again.